on the new Wall Street Journal polling. They show a huge demographic shift that may be underway in America. White suburban women who make up 20% of the electorate and the journal is showing that they have swung by 27 points away from Democrats since August. If that number is accurate, it shows a huge move. It would put plus 15 in favor of the GOP. Yeah, that's what I call white privilege. <laughs> Notice she said white. Yeah. Nothing else was attached to that, white. And she said that makes up 20% of the electorate. Just to get, paint a picture for you, black people make up, what, 10, 11, 12% of the electorate? Mm -hmm. It's really not many of us here. You know, thank God. <laughs> what? They would ruin this country. <laughs> why? Because they vote Democrat? Yeah, them, them fools vote 90% clip. That's yeah. why I say that, because I have facts to back up my racism. <laughs> <laughs> they vote 90% clip Democrat. That's why I say if blacks was the majority in this country, they would vote away everybody's rights. They yeah. would ruin this country. Yeah. How they vote. Yeah. St statistically speaking. All right. So... The View got a hold of this. The View was pissed. Oh, my. And just when you think The View cannot make themselves look any horrible. Yeah. Then this. They take a step further. Check it out. What's also surprising to me is the abortion issue. Um, I read a, a poll just yesterday that white Republican Looking suburban good, women are now going to vote Republican. Why? It's almost like roaches voting for raid. What? Right? It's, it's I, I like think that's they're that's voting, no, it's insulting they're voting to the against, voter. We, they're we, voting no, against no, no. their own self-interest. Do they want to live in Gilead? Okay, do they so do we live in the hands Do we love scale? democracy or not? Because uh, just saying that it's it's insulting to the voter. People make up decisions on what's right for their family. And the idea that well, the you should have a say women, for everyone else's vote. The fact that women are voting against You had a different view on abortion not that long ago. and you I have that view. But that issue is I but then, why, but then why is another woman but not I am very able to have a different view? That white Republican suburban women. But why are have you so recently evolved on the issue? Care. I have not really recently revolved, uh, uh, um, evolved on the issue. I am Catholic. That is my faith. I believe that abortion is wrong for me. There is a separation between state, a, a government, and church. And I do not have the right to tell someone else. Sonny, However, they are voting against their own self-interest. What you're saying is a good example. As, as someone sitting here, that's a huge issue for me. This election, the deniers are more important for me. Everyone has a priority yeah. list. So to me, I'm voting. Like I will. Th that is a full stop problem for me that I actually think election deniers being put into office it used to be just former President Donald Trump. Now it's everyone running on the Republican side. That scares me more than anything. So even dumb now, women's rights is second for me. Let's no, I'll take it back. She's not a natural blonde. <laughs> She's a dumb brunette. Let's start with Sonny Holston. Who wants to be blonde? Yeah, let's start with Sonny Holston, what she said. So she called white, she said white Republican women. These are not white Republican women. Yeah. They were probably like libertarians. Or, or just Democrats. White, just white women. They, yeah. they, you know what I'm saying? It was a shift. Right, it was a shift. It had nothing to do with white Republican women. I mean... Everybody knows white Republican women are going to vote Republican, right? Yeah, because they're Republican, right? <laughs> right. So, but then Sonny Holston calls white Republican women roaches. Even Whoopi was sitting there like, man. Yeah, I ain't, ain't going to touch that with a 10-foot pole because she said something crazy about Jewish people. <laughs> yes, she did. You called them roaches, right? And then Sonny Holston. How is that not racist? Man, that's oh, uh, uh, You're going to single out a demographic of people just because how they vote. You're going to call them roaches? Yeah. And, but I love it when y'all let her talk because y'all just giving her rope so she can hang herself and just how, show how racist and stupid and illogical she is. Because she said it's a— What's she say, man? She said— What's she it, say, man? She said it's a separation between church and state. No what, shit. What does that have to do with any of this? Because of your faith as Catholic? Abortion is not being banned because of religion. Yeah, it's it's yeah. being banned because it's deemed you're murdering somebody. So let me just paint it, uh, paint it a different way. Like murder is in the Bible. Thou shall not kill. I think that's like the first commandment, right? So if the government comes out and says we ban murder, wait a minute. You can't do that. It's a separation between church and state. I should be able to kill whoever I want. That's how dumb of an argument you made.
Yeah, that's very clever, man. It was real clever. This like has that. nothing to do with religion. Yeah. I like some people don't need religion uh, to be sane and moral people. Yeah, like there's some people who uh, who are agnostic and they know abortion is bad, it's evil, mm-hmm. right? It's it's actually murder. And then you're talking about voting away your rights. What state is saying you cannot get an abortion? They're just saying up until what twenty weeks heartbeat. Yeah, you can still get an abortion. You can I'm- still get an abortion. Nobody's voting away. And why is that a right to kill your kid? What is wrong with you? And you Catholic. You should agree with these racist white people. These racist white women, you should be in agreement with them. And what Sonny doesn't also understand. I was being facetious. They're not racist. I, I th- y'all, y'all know I was being sarcastic, right? Yeah, you know. And one thing Sonny does not recognize. What? the whole. What's ab- that? What does she don't recognize, man? This whole abortion issue for women, it's not that big of an issue for most women. Yeah, you know why? Why? I'll tell you why. Tell them. I'm going to tell you right now. Because some women know how to avoid getting pregnant. Yeah, it's not like catching AIDS or something. That was a bad analogy. You shouldn't have said that. That was too far. It's like should have said COVID. Yeah, it's not like catching the (laughs) flu or COVID. Yeah. I mean, you just don't wake up. Oh, my God, I'm pregnant. <laughs> you know what happens when you get pregnant? Some dude actually. Hey, Keith, you ain't got to even go. People know. <laughs> women, you know you're going to show everybody how a woman get pregnant. <laughs> see, women know how. See, y'all be playing dumb because y'all don't want the Republicans. Women know how not to get pregnant. It's really not that hard. Yeah, there's birth control. There's the pull-out method. There's condoms. You know, there's oral. There's hand jobs. There's foot jobs. Majority of women that go get an abortion, you know what? Oh, this is feeling good. Oh, oh, oh. Come inside me. <laughs> you got the day after pill? I mean, people, you got oh, options. most women are, you know, responsible adults. They can avoid and get pregnant. Sometimes yeah. things, uh, mistakes are, are made. But then after that, you have the, the day after pill. And then in most states, I, I, I'm not sure of any state that's, um, I'm not aware of any state that's banning abortion. I mean, you look at all these liberal ads, they're like, Basically lying, but you can still get an abortion up to five weeks or up to the baby's heartbeat or something yeah. like that. So it's not that big of an issue. It shouldn't be an issue. And then you the, still have options. Yeah. And then the other woman. Yeah, the dumb, so, um, the, bu- the dumb brunette. But you know, no, no, she's blonde. <laughs> no, she bleached her hair, man. Look no. at her eyebrows. The eyebrows don't lie. <laughs> it's but, brown, man. She she want to be I've a blonde. Been, I haven't really seen too much of this lady, but there's another brunette. She... That's logical and sane. Yeah, and rational. And, and rational. And then I thought this blonde that said this about the election and the stuff, <laughs> the stuff I saw about her, yeah. she came off like sane. Yeah. Like logical Besides person. Sonny Hostin, to her right. Yeah, the one with the pink on. The one that says she didn't want to vote. She's voting uh, based on election deniers. She doesn't want a denier in office. <laughs> it's okay to not trust the election results. You know, both sides have taken part in election yeah. deny, denying the election. Yeah. Clinton did it. Yeah. I mean, if you vote for a Democrat or Republican, you're actually voting for election deniers. <laughs> oh, both sides. They spent, the FBI spent millions of dollars investigating Trump, yes. colluding with Russia. So if I was you, I wouldn't even vote because both sides are doing it. Yeah. It was just a dumb argument you was making. Yeah. Election denial. It's making- okay for a, for a sane human being to say, you know what? I don't trust that last election. It's nothing wrong with saying that. Yeah. It's absolutely nothing wrong. To ask questions, it's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know what? After this next election. Unless you're a communist. Yeah. After this next election, like these midterms, the president, I guarantee the person that loses, they're going to deny the election. <laughs> That's the American way. Yeah. I mean, look who started it. The left started it. I know. And we're going to finish it. <laughs> Red wave coming. Yeah. That was a damn good show. I love talking about them. I love exposing. I don't want to call them a name. I, I, I just, man. You, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't call them names. Even though she called white women roaches, you, you can't stoop to a level. Hey, for more damn good shows, <laughs> click one of these two videos right here. Yeah. Hey, we got some shows coming. We're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio this weekend. Coming to Houston, Texas. Yeah, Houston, Texas. Arlington, Texas. Dayton, Corpus, Ohio. Yeah. Corpus, Corpus Christi, Texas. We come into Manchester, Connecticut. Yeah.
Lydia, buddy. We're going to Macon, Georgia, Dothan, Alabama. Go to HawksTwinStore.com for tickets. And in the comments below, let that dumb brunette know. I will call her dumb blonde, but she's not, you know, she's not a blonde. But she, she's been logical in other uh, episodes that I've seen. I don't care. That, that What she just said was the most stupidest thing I've ever heard from a person. Yeah, but. That cancels out but everything. But she's no Sonny Holston. Sonny Holston is on a totally different tier. <laughs> yeah.